If you're thinking of doing your own camper conversion but you haven't got a clue how to do it, then join the club. We haven't got a clue either. But how hard can it really be? Tons of people are doing it and I guess you can kind of think of us as your canaries down the mine. So if we can do it, you can do it. And if we can't do it, you can still probably do it. <laughs> In this series, you'll hopefully see how easy it is to convert a camper van with zero DIY skills or experience. And in this video, we will be covering the prepping and installation stage. I'm Emma and this is my partner Alex, and after years of dreaming and planning, we finally took the plunge and got our own van. But as it turned out, it was a scam. So we got another van, a better van. I will be completely honest with you, I have absolutely zero interest in converting this camper van. Well that's lucky, because I have loads of interest in it. I can't bloody wait and I'm loving it. <laughs> I just want the end result. Without and... any of the hard work. <laughs> <laughs> well no, but if you've seen the price of converted camper vans, it's through the roof, so it's much cheaper to do it yourself, so here we are. Like all men, I have been perving on birds since I hit puberty, <laughs> and this van will keep me as a peeping Tom for years to come. <laughs> Over the last few months we've been trying to finalise our van design mm. and with the pandemic it's kind of highlighted how important it is to do what you love mm -hmm. when you can. So we kind of want to lean into the things we love and reflect that within our van design. I feel like I've come a, a caricature of myself <laughs> at the moment because uh, all I do is literally eat sausages and look for birds <laughs> and it kind of was like a bit of a joke that that's what I do but that's what I do a lot. I'm now listening to the sounds of kingfishers so I can recognise the call because there might be some around here but I'm also going to play it in the hope of attracting them. Okay so just a quick overview of what we have planned for the inside of the van. Um, we'll be getting rid of these seats entirely so just imagine this is a blank canvas here. We're going to be having our sofa bed on the side of the sliding door Underneath the sofa bed will be a bunch of storage, so a lot of our heavier items will be on that side to try and counterbalance the van a little bit. Because on the other side of the van, we're gonna have all of our storage cupboards, and where I am now is gonna be sort of the kitchen area. We want to utilize both of these side sliding windows for bird watching and animal watching. And the thing that I am most excited about in this van is we are actually already booked in to have the roof converted to a pop top and not only a, a pop top it's going to be a scenic canvas pop top and if you don't know what this is it's essentially a normal pop top roof but that unzips the whole way around so you get like a 180 view out of the top of your van and we're also going to have a panel put on the top which can be used as a bed or a sitting platform so we can actually sit up there with a cup of tea and look out at all the lovely animals and nature. I couldn't be more excited. So far we've done all the boring stuff. We have ripped out the seats, the carpet on the floor and on the walls, we pulled the ceiling down, we've removed all the plywood off of the sides and we've started treating all the rusty bits which essentially just involved grinding down all the kind of bumpy bits of rust and flaky paint and painting over it with some rust treatment. Luckily the plywood panels that came in the van are still in pretty good nick which has saved us about £250 worth of buying new ones um, so we've just taken those out, sanded them down and given them a lick of primer paint. What we're doing today is the soundproofing and the insulation on the side panels of the van and I'm actually really excited about this because this is what feels like the beginning of the build properly so up until this point we've just been prepping the van and now we're actually starting the build. Um, this is a little bit tricky because the insulation and the soundproofing that we have it has a self-adhesive backing to it which can only be applied if it's at least 10 degrees. Um, today is exactly 10 degrees. Yeah, don't let this blue sky fool you. <laughs> yeah, it is still quite chilly. Um, so we have this afternoon to stick that stuff on and then maybe tomorrow if we're lucky, but then we're looking at about a week of cold horrible weather so we're really up against the clock at the moment to get this all done in the next day or two. In this video we'll be using one roll of sound deadening material to reduce vibrations and structural noise, one roll of the thermo van liner to help regulate the temperatures as well as reducing noise and a twin pack of sound deadening and insulation for the floor. 
As the name of the series suggests, we are dummies and we don't know what we're doing, so please take everything we do with a pinch of salt and bear in mind that there are going to be quite a few mistakes along the way, I'm sure. We've already made the monumental mistake of being scammed on our first van, so if you haven't already seen that, go back and watch that video. We also ran into another hurdle when we tried to install a swivel seat in the van the other day and found out that it doesn't actually fit the seat. So we're going to have to do some adjustments with that and come back to that at a later date. But what we will do is focus on what we can do at the moment. And what we can do is sound deadening. <laughs> in theory, this should be pretty easy to stick on because all you've got to do is peel off his backing and it sticks to the metal. So <laughs> I say that, <laughs> I haven't actually tried it yet. I've also got a paint roller to help roll it on in the hope that it will make it stick better. Okay. Stick that top bit on. And then I guess I just kind of peel this off bit by bit. And stick it down. Ooh, look at that. I wish this wasn't so long. <laughs> I if this is going to be better. Yeah, I think that's better. I'm trying to be too fancy with the, the rolly thing. Look at that! Okay, that was actually really easy to stick on. So now we're going to get cracking on with all our other bits that we've cut out and cover the entire van. I'm finished! All of this took me just over an hour, probably about an hour and 15 minutes. Um, and that's probably more down to me having to recut a few pieces because I didn't take into account things like the screws coming out of the van. So that's worth keeping in mind because you obviously can't put it straight over the screws coming through. So but for people like me, why have you got gaps? Gaps. Honestly, the only reason that I've left gaps is because everyone else online leaves gaps and this stuff is really expensive. <laughs> Also, there is some sound deadening. You can't really probably see it on the camera because it's painted red, but there is a panel here and a panel here that has some sound deadening. But even after all this, we're gonna be putting another layer of insulation slash sound proofing material over the top. So it should cover sort of any other gaps that we have. Definitely the most time consuming part of all of this isn't actually sticking stuff inside the van. It's like the measuring and the cutting of everything. And I definitely haven't got all of the cutting right, hence why I've got all these like misshaped bits stuck inside the van right now. Um, but next up we have the first layer of insulation, which is very exciting. Um, again, like the sound deadening, it's like a um, self-adhesive backing. So ooh, this is the stuff. So you've got the, the foil layer on the outside, you've got the insulation on the inside, and then you just peel this, and then you have the sticky backing. Um, so in theory, it should be fairly easy to put in as of the soundproofing. This is gonna be a little bit more tricky because as you can see, there's lots of kind of little nooks and crannies which aren't so easy to get to. So what I've done is I've cut out sort of a big piece the size of the panel. And then when I get in there, I'm going to take the Stanley knife and sort of cut out bits to shape and try and slot them in and see how it goes. Ugh. Stuff is awful. <laughs> All the other videos online make this look so easy. <laughs> so you might be sat there wondering why I'm not actually helping Emma, but that's because you're sexist <laughs> and I'm not conforming to your gender roles. <laughs> now that, that would be one reason, maybe. There are a number of reasons why, and you might be intrigued. And one, the first reason is that I'm better than Al at all of this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she is, and she also really enjoys it. Yeah. Uh, two, this is Emma's full-time job, and I'm going <laughs> off and earning the bacon to, to pay it. these things that go inside here. <laughs> and three, so. has anyone ever tried to film a van conversion? Not easy. It is not particularly easy. And so I am the brains behind the filming operation. <laughs> and I'm fully in DIY mode. I'm not thinking about the filming <laughs> at all. I've done a terrible job at this. I guess as long as it insulates, it doesn't matter how pretty it is. Oh. Okay, well that's the first panel done. I'm just going to carry on this afternoon and hopefully cover the whole van in this stuff so we can be nice and snug and warm in the cold weather and nice and cool in any hot weather.
scrap everything that I said before. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be really easy, just peel off the backing, stick it on, and it'll take like an hour max. It took about five hours of sticking and cutting and resizing and sticking and getting into all these little nooks and crannies and crevices around was a nightmare to say the least. So allow yourself plenty of time if you're doing something similar. Uh, next up we have the flooring. So I've got to clear all this out, give the floor a little wipe down and then start sticking. And like that, the floor installation is done. I say like that, it took bloody ages. It's really not that hard, but it is tiring and it is time consuming. This took me a whole afternoon to do. I am exhausted now, but I am so happy that it's actually done. It's looking like we're actually getting somewhere now. Next up after this is to put some more insulation in these cavities and put the plywood back on, but that will have to be in another video. If you have any tips on prepping a van for a conversion or insulation, leave it in the comments down below because it might help someone else out. Don't forget to like the video if you found it helpful and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, beans out.